all honor and glory go to Yahweh, Hazel, Melza, Hazel, Akadat. Yahweh means he who exists, Hazel means in the name. Yahweh means he who delivers. And Elu Akadat means the Holy Spirit. Then we honor honor to be also said as a prayer song to tell me to speak and feel. The title of this video is "We Talk to Sam and Pray Your Spirit and Flesh." So we're always the flesh and spirit are always a battle. We're always wrestling against our flesh, um, pulling for hours seven days a week. Um, doesn't matter if you're at work, home, um, school, your walk, and your garden. You're always doing something. You're always last one against your uh, flesh. I want to bring out a couple of verses in context. Um, the first one is Matthew 26, 41. So watch and pray that you teach them. Not to take them. He said, indeed, it's with us when he starts to speak. And for for direct translation, um, I'm going to read it in, in a piece. Well, um, Matthew 26, 41, and the 11 translation, to watch the priest that so that you will not be able to to temptation, for the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. So, praying always to the most high and call it of the right name, which is Yahweh and Yahweh God, that you will be overcome by your flesh, right? Because when you are uh, overcome by your flesh, then you're, then you're allowing that evil spirit or that demon um, come in and to uh, take over your um, spirit. So, you know, the only thing you're going to do is to see a corruption. Um, so that's why in Revelation uh, 6 and 8, you know, you just go to your flesh rather you're going to be overtaken by the um, um, as well in the season you're from like that as well so you don't sit from like that um for only home on my own you know how that you may be able to stand against the wives of the devil um, for we rock and not get flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, and against the world, against the church and world community and high places. So, so, where there's always a battle, always, we are always wrestling against, um, principalities, against powers, against the rulers. See, when you are in this world or going to your flesh and not going to your spirit, then you know you're not wrestling you're not wrestling against you know the spirit. You're not wrestling against the country because they have all this within you. Uh, but when you're not when you're not going to your flesh or other things to spirit, then you're always constantly um, battling to put the Um there's a demon and Satan. Um, you'll always you don't always battle those demons because you know we're not partaking in the things of this world. The um, you know sanity um, that this world has to offer. Uh, move up to for Galatians, um, Galatians 6 and 8, where Galatians 6 and 8, for he that sword to his flesh, the holy flesh we towards him, but he that sword to his spirit, the of the spirit we rise as a master. So this is a good letter, and I want to get into the email to you as well.
those who live only to satisfy their own sexual nature will always decay and death from that sexual nature. But those who live to please each other will always live a life life from the spirit. So when you're falling to the flesh, you're partaking in the wickedness and um, everything that you're world. So you're with crowds, you're lusting, you're eating the you habits where you eat. Um, it's only going to lead to corruption. So if you're in the hospital, um, you're being sick, you're being put to death. Um, it's only going to lead to that. We all live until we corrupt. So when you're going to the spirit, you're praying, you're guidance, um, you call it on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you kill and on these names, on the names of salvation, um, not the so called Jesus, um, you know, Buddhist or our um, outreach or any of those God names. Um, and you're Call out on the name of Yahweh, and you call out on the other thing you're asking for God if you're asking for the Holy Spirit to lead you, lead you, lead you on to the, um, to, um, lead you on to the right direction, um, lead you on to the narrow, the narrow, the narrow, the narrow uh, path, not the bar path. Um, when you're, you know, reading, get the reading to the, uh, reading the word of the, um, Bible and repenting from your sins, always, um, and asking this, asking for the other, giving this, um, that you want to be, um, be, um, be in, um, be in your flesh or, you know, going to your flesh. As well, um, I also want to get one more, one more, um, another person in one Corinthians series that, um, said that the most out will not put nothing on us that we cannot, um, bear or be kind of So, one Corinthians series, um, chapter 10, verse 13, that had no temptation taken you, but such that we come into man, but they more most how and faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but where will these countries also make it with your escape that you may be able to bear it? So, you know, going through heavy temptation, or you feel like when you're going through, through um, you never get out of it all. Um, it's just the, uh, you know, the spiritual demon and Satan putting those thoughts in your head um, when you. You give in to his, um, his, um, to his way, you give in to those, um, take your thoughts and give in to that temptation, um, um, that you only also use for high as testing you to see if you give in and overcome, will you give in or will you overcome, um, uh, what you're going through, yeah, so what you're going through is just, to make you more stronger in the spirit, um, to be able to stand it up to, um, you know, to, to, to have you not be, um, going to anything in flesh that is, um, not going to be, um, that is pleasing to the most high. So when you're praying and you're repenting and calling for the name, um, of Alabama City, I was shy, um, that make you, that make a way to escape, um, when you're, when you're doing that, um, when you're calling, when you're doing those acts, praying, um, repenting, sometimes you have to fast, um, um, so, but when you're calling on your name, you're tuning in, Alabama City, I was shy, that make a way for you to escape. The devil, the spiritual demons, and Satan tremble and they make every name of Yahweh and Yahweh. So, so there's, there's always, always a way um, to escape 
or to um to come out in cases or to um that's a way to not go in not give up to these flags. Um and getting getting into a spirit and fighting uh, those principalities demons. You know, I'll also read it. I will also read it into the in the TF club for a person. What I just see can cut the ten for thirteen and you you know keep the temptation in your life are no different from what others experience and you most out is faithful, you will not allow to keep the temptation to be more than you can stand, and your attention he will show you a way out so that you can go. And so it's all about enduring the temptation, persevering to get out every end of the day. Um, you most probably are doing it for your reason. Um, and then to build you up in the spirit. Um, Matthew 6 and 13. Um, so this is your prayer um, that you, you pray when you're being tempted, uh, when you're being tempted. So, in the, so the prayer is, I will start from So our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom Matthew fifty nine. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day the bread, and we give us our debt as we give our debt debt to us. Lead and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So, so there's always a way to escape. There's always a way to not get into the flesh. There's always a way to um, fight against the um, those the demons and Satan. Um, there's, 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 there's a way um, to overcome those, um, to overcome your lust, to overcome your, um, you know, to overcome the, um, where we're going to, uh, by just, you know, praying, fasting, and repenting, and doing it every single day, um, and also, Taking of the um taking of um taking of the things in the spirit, um, when you're you know when you're outside, um do not be like do not be in your flesh, you know, always constantly, always have the name, always have always same things to the spirit, not to the flesh, because when you're outside, you, you know, you might be busy or you might be, you know, you may play it or, you know, something that it might trigger you and that's probably just the um, spirit of being in, um, you know, thinking or the, uh, kind of thing you get in and, uh, you know, it's hard out there to be testing you as well when you're outside. To see what reactions um, you want to take, but ultimately, you know, God already knows if you're going to delve in or if you're going to resist. Um, you know, just a test. Every day you wake up, every day um, you go to sleep, you know, and that's you know, you're always in, you know, there's the battle of y'all, but the flesh and spirit always um, in that battle. Um, so that would do it for this lesson. Um, so I'm give all on this and pray to you. Y'all about to tell me out. Uh, thank you next time tomorrow. Good one.